Hello Internet, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we made it here to the Shadow Pokemon Lab. And this time, we are going to be hopefully finishing up the Shadow Pokemon Lab. This guy just welcomed us to it, even though we've been here for like 30 minutes already. What does he have? Rhyhorn and Ariados. Um, I think I might have started with literally the perfect leads for this battle. But judging by that Ariados' level, I think it's probably a Shadow Pokemon. I hope not. Yeah, my hopes were worthless. You know what? I've already lost my perfect record, we'll get a second chance for this Ariados later, and quite frankly, I just want to see it die, so I'm going to kill it instead of catch it. Unless it survives the Psybeam. If it does that, I will catch it. But it didn't. Since we get a second chance for it later and have already messed up my perfect record, who cares? It deserves death. For it is a spider monster. Well, he has a Grovile. It's not often you see a trainer in a Pokemon game have a starter. I guess this game it's probably a little more common to see trainers that have starters. Especially middle evolutions of starters since the first three Cypher Peons we ever fought had them, but... Oh, this guy only has three Pokemon. That's unusual. Most of the people in here have had four if they have a Shadow Pokemon. I guess that's why I started with a Shadow Pokemon, but... Whatever. It does feel a little bad not catching a Shadow Pokemon, like not even making an attempt, but... Also, it feels good because it was an Ariados, and all Ariadoses deserve to die. Catastrophically wrong. Do you say wrong or strong? Probably strong. I don't know what I'd be wrong about here. What is in this room? Oh, it's hidden behind the shelf, is it? DNA sample. Well, we have three of those now, and you know what they say. Three is usually the number of things that there are in Pokemon games. This item box, there's a full restore. And it was transferred to the PC because we have too many items. It's unfortunate. Sweeties, you've caused enough mischief already. You terrified me. Taney. I hate your name. It's not as bad as the guy in the last episode whose name I've forgotten because I took a break before recording this, but it's still pretty bad, Taney. Her shadow Pokemon is Gramble. Granbull is okay. Uh, as far as normal types go, this is probably the strongest you're going to be getting throughout the entire game. Uh, just because of how high its attack stat is. Um, it also does come with strength, which is probably one of the more powerful normal type moves you'll be getting in the game. I think most normal types we've seen have actually come with it, but ignore that fact because it's actually really good on this uh, Granbull. Uh, Grenville also gets pretty good type coverage. I know for a fact it can learn Earthquake. It also gets Crunch, which is a dark type move, so it won't be doing a ton of damage with it, but it's still type coverage nonetheless. And partnering that with Earthquake, it just gets good type coverage. It's able to do a lot of damage really quickly. Maybe not really quickly, but it's also kind of tanky. It's just a good Pokemon. I suppose I should unfortunately also go over Ariados here. It's a bug poison type. They've never been great. Ariados is kind of fast and it's kind of good at attacking, but just it has so many weaknesses that it's just really unfortunate when it runs into any fire type, any psychic type, any just Pokemon in general, really. Because it's a bug type move, its defenses aren't great. It's not able to take a ton of hits and overall it's just not good. But also I'm incredibly biased against it because it's a spider and I hope it dies. Anyway, hopefully I do not knock out this Granbull, because this is not a Shadow Pokemon I was planning on missing, uh, even intentionally. We are probably going to get my final team member in this episode. It's not Granbull, but uh, my final team member does appear in this lab. So I will be expecting to see it soon-ish, probably. Uh, let's start chucking balls at it. Uh, 
I will switch a lot of for Searchlight so I can use Thunder Wave on the next turn if this ball doesn't work. The Tootsie Pop commercial thing really does help, it seems. Your mischief is going overboard. Maybe your assaulting of a 16-year-old is going overboard too, woman. Oh, she's gone. She didn't like that comeback at all. Something tells me this is the way I am meant to be going. Yup, it is. Back I go. I do not want to see that guy right now. I do not like him. It's a DNA analyzer. And we just happen to have three DNA samples. First one is... Miss Drebus. That model is cut off. Why is it cut off? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next DNA sample. Bayleaf. It's my personal favorite of the Johto starters. And the last one is... Quilava. Alright. You do need to make sure you have all of these before you head on to the uh, next area of the base. There is another room that I'm missing out on that I would like to see before I leave. There's nothing over here. Alright. What in the name of- How did you two avoid the eyes of our security staff? I don't know, Dubik. David Dubik. I could have thought it would be a scientist with two electrodes. Future me, cut this out. Oh my god, I do not like how its eyes pop out of its head when it dies. Or faints. I do not like that at all. That's horrible. That just makes me feel bad for it. You didn't duck from security. You walked all over him. You're right. I did. Do whatever you want, it's too late now. We're finished with our research. What you're doing is futile. Feudal? I guess feudal's a different word. Is there really nothing in here? Oh, well. Can't see him. God, he's hot. I love his hair. Uh, yeah, looks like this is all a waste of time. There's nothing in here. Alright. I'm gonna go back to the PC, because I know we are getting close to the final Shadow Pokémon that I want on my team. In fact, I think it's probably the next Shadow Pokémon we can get in here, so... Alright, now heading up the correct elevator. Well, I guess the other one was correct too, because we did need the DNA analyzer, but... Whatever. It, you do have to get those DNA samples checked before you come here. Or at least you should. What? What are outsiders doing here? Why isn't security doing their job? So, for reasons I will explain later, I am going to simply speed up this battle and allow you to listen to the music that normally plays in the lab. Uh, that might seem awkward in terms of placement, but trust me, this is basically the only place I can put it at this point where it would make sense. <laughs>
<laughs> now you're stuck. There's no escaping the lab for you. Yeah, this is why I let you listen to the music. This blaring siren is the only noise that will be in this entire lab for the remainder of its already pretty overstayed welcome, including if you go backwards to heal, which... Like... The song was so good, and this is just so obnoxious. What do you mean by there's no escape for you? I just left without any issue. God, what a oh, terrible Oh, crud. Guy. There's no way I'm going to let you go. All right. Adding further in... Hi! I heard the alarm, so I came running. From the ceiling, apparently. Cypher peon Remil. Your name is even more annoying than the other Cypher peons. Vibrava and Kecleon. How about Brava is level 43, but so is Kecleon. So, what one is our Shadow Pokemon? Well, I wouldn't want to use it on my team if it was the Kecleon, I'll say that much. Vibrava. On its own, Vibrava is not great. The Dragon Ground type is extremely good. There's, like, one of the best competitive Pokemon in general is Fire Ground type. But unfortunately, Vibrava doesn't have a lot going for it besides its typing. Its stats aren't great, it can't really do a ton in terms of moves. But, what Vibrava does have going for it is the fact that, um... I have to think of what I'm trying to say here. It evolves in two levels from Purification. So whether you level it up, uh through battling with it while it's a shadow Pokemon, or you use the Time Flute from Pyrite and then use the Rare Candies from Venus's uh, movie... not movie studio, news studio. There's a lot you can do with it to make it good. Which is just... It evolves in two levels into a very powerful Dragon-type Pokemon. You have the Rare Candies necessary to level it up, even if you purify it through a Time Flute. There's not... Oh my god! Umbreon, come on! <laughs> I haven't saved. I have to replay this entire portion of the game from the under up until now. Well, if I intentionally lose this battle, I can make it back here. So that's what I'll do. I will go out of my way to intentionally lose this battle. Because I don't want to replay the entire game up to this point. Oh, that Kecleon's probably going down this turn, too. I'm so upset right now, guys. I said a funny thought. I think it's funny to just imagine these Pokemon are beating up on Wes's Pokemon, and he's just yelling their names. He's not telling them to do any moves or anything, he's just yelling their names at them, confusing the hell out of everybody. I thought it was so funny to me, and now I'm glad I've done this. This has taken so long, this has taken like 10 minutes just to, to get my entire team to be defeated. But my god, just for that single thought, it was so worth it. Oh, that was epic. Okay, I'm fine with it now. Let it be known that the first time I lost a battle in this Let's Play, it was on purpose. Please tell me I still have all the Shadow Pokemon, though. Oh, thank god. Okay. Are you kidding me? She just doesn't reappear? Oh my god. Oh my god, I am going to have a fucking nervous breakdown right now. This is horrible. I'm so pissed. I just wasted 10 minutes getting my entire party KO'd so I could catch that Vibrava, and then it won't even let me catch that Vibrava! <laughs> Alright. So I have a lot of potential options for a replacement for a Vibrava here. Like, a lot of potential options. Um... And I think the most reasonable one to go with would be Swablu. 
but the Swablu is incredibly underleveled compared to everything else on my team. Well, not incredibly. I can work with this, actually. Plus, the Swablu evolves not too long from the level it's at. The only thing I can really say is I'm not going to use a Time Flute on this so I can get as many levels as possible, so I feel like I'm going to end this episode off here. Next time on Pokemon Coliseum, we are going to be purifying Swablu, seeing it evolve, for a fact, coming back here, and destroying Ayn to get revenge for the fact that I was not allowed to get this Vibrava because I am so pissed. I was so excited to use a Vibrava on my team. But here's the bio for Flygon, since I'm not going to get to use it on my team. Flygon is really, really, really good. Ground Dragon type is fantastic. It has a four times weakness to ice, but the resistances it gains because of that type are fantastic. On top of that, Flygon gets amazing special moves. It gets Earthquake, which is always great. It's just good. Which is why I'm so pissed I'm not- <laughs>